So we shift from the field to the sand as sand volleyball gets ready to kick off this weekend. To give us an inside perspective on how the team is preparing for the upcoming season, we welcome Sarah Hughes to Sports Scene. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So first question, you've had some time to reflect on last year. You were All-American as a freshman. You won a national championship in pairs. Take us through how, how you were able to succeed so quickly. Uh, I took last year as a learning experience, definitely, because I came in as a freshman and I was paired up with a senior who kind of knew the ro ropes and she taught me a lot of things and helped me understand what it was like to be on the number one team and how to transition that into winning and ultimately a winning a national championship. And now you just mentioned she was a senior, so she's moved on. Mm -hmm. Now you have a new partner. How are you making that transition? Now you've been to that national stage. How are you teaching your partner, hey, this is what we need to do to be successful this year? Yeah, so now I'm kind of like the leader of the team. So Kelly, who's going to be my partner, we're both sophomores together. And luckily we have played together through USA Volleyball, so we have a great connection. But it's also me trying to teach her understanding, like, you know, this is the number one team. Like, the whole team looks up to us. Like, we want to win every single game. And as a team, you guys made it to the Final Four last year. How do you take that next step to national title? You know... It was great winning an individual like pair title with Kirby, but it wasn't the same winning without the team. You know, you want the team behind you. You want that team unity, and we're going for it this year. We all have the same goals, and we're ready to get that ring. So what is the difference between sand volleyball and indoor volleyball? Obviously, there's sand, and mm. usually it's twos instead of six on a court. But what are the intricacies beyond that? Yeah, well, like you said, sand volleyball is only two people, so you need to know how to do everything. You need to know how to pass, set, hit, serve. Whereas indoor volleyball, you kind of just have one position and you stick with that. So if you're a libero, then you want to pass. But for sand volleyball, you got to be able to move in the sand. You got to be able to do every skill and, you know, execute that every day because it's only you and your other partner. So if they serve you, you got to do what you got to do and they serve them. So it's just teamwork and working together. And when you were coming out of high school, you were one of the top volleyball recruits as a whole, but you said, hey, I just want to do sand volleyball. What was behind that decision? Well, I actually started off playing sand volleyball when I was eight years old. And the first time I stepped on the beach, I loved it. And then I made that transition to indoor volleyball and I loved it just as much. But when I had that opportunity to play just sand in college, I looked at what I want to do in the future, and I want to play professional beach volleyball. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go with my heart, and I'm going to go on the sand, and it's the best decision I've ever made. And you got to work with Misty May Trainer last year, Olympic gold medalist, one of the greatest sand volleyball players of all time. What did she teach you, and how did she impact your play early on? Well, Misty has been my idol since I was eight years old. Uh, she used to play on the same beach I did, so I would just go and watch her every day when she was at practice. And when, you know, that first time she stepped in on the USC courts, I couldn't believe it. And it almost made me a little nervous at first. But since she's been through that, she's been through everything, three Olympic gold medals. So I like just talking to her about her experience and knowing what what's going to happen for me to come. So, and then of course, skill wise, she always helped me, took me to the side, told me little things I needed to do to fix my game. And then outside of USC, you've traveled to Puerto Rico to play, Portugal to play. Where has been your favorite place to play and where do you hope to travel to either through volleyball or outside of volleyball? I want to say my favorite place I've been to is Cyprus. It was such a great experience. Um, I was with some of my best friends when I went, when I got to play and compete there. But I really want to go to Germany, and I don't know why. I just have, like, family there, and hopefully I'll get to go there one day. And then, actually, our team is having an international trip this summer, and we're going to Austria, and I get to stay a few extra days because I have family and relatives there. So I can't wait for that opportunity. Well, that's great, and good luck to you and the team this year. And this weekend is just the start of a, a long season, but hopefully a very successful season. So thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. And now we shift from the sand to the hardwood and we send it back over to Evan at the desk.